Hey everyone, today we are creating a modern profile card using row, column, stack, image, and icon button controls. This will help us understand layout and layering in FLET. Before we start coding, let's take a look at the final result. This is the profile card we'll be building today. It includes an image, text, and interactive buttons all structured using row, column, and stack. Now, let's see how to create this step by step. We already have a pre-created main file with the basic FLET structure set up and ready to go. The first thing we need to do is set the default page size to 500 pixels in width and 600 pixels in height. Next, we need to set a meaningful title for our page. Next, let's make sure everything will be perfectly centered by setting both vertical and horizontal alignment to eCenter. We'll set the background to a soft off-white. And now we can see the result. Time to create and design our profile card container. We'll set the background to black, size it at 350 by 350 pixels, and give it smooth, rounded corners with an 18 pixel radius. Let's explore stack and how it works. We'll use it to layer two elements on top of each other for a more dynamic design. To demonstrate this, we'll add a background pattern using the image control. We already have a PNG image inside the assets folder, right next to our main file. By setting the Shrek attribute to its path, FLET will automatically find and display it. You can see the result now. However, depending on your monitor's display settings, you might not notice the darker pattern over the black background. Next, we'll add a second element inside the stack, a column control. This allows us to arrange elements vertically in a sequence, as it takes a list of child controls. First up, let's add the profile picture. We'll use the image control to display an avatar from the local folder. To keep it stylish, we'll set the width to 150 and give it a perfect circular shape by setting the border radius to 360. To center the image properly, we'll wrap it in a parent container and set its alignment to center. This will ensure the avatar is aligned in the vertical layout. We'll set the parent column's alignment to center, so all its child elements are vertically centered. Now, for the text below the image, name and profession, we'll wrap them in a container and place them inside another column to arrange them neatly. First, we'll style the name by setting its color to white, size to 24, and making it bold with a weight of 700. To save time, we'll duplicate this line, place it below as the second text element, change the content and color, and set its weight to regular. To center the text properly, we'll set the parent column's alignment and horizontal alignment to center. To keep the spacing tight between them, we'll set spacing to zero, and two, keep everything perfectly centered. We'll also set the horizontal alignment of the outermost column to center. To add buttons, we'll wrap them in a row inside a container. The row control allows us to place elements side by side in a horizontal line. Since row takes a list of controls, we'll start by adding a simple button. We'll set its text in a sign and icon using FLET's icons let's go with a message, like For styling, we'll create a button style variable. This variable should be global so we can reuse it for other icon, only buttons as well. To center the buttons inside the row, we'll set the alignment argument to center. And now you can see how it's centered. We'll add a subtle white border to the button's parent container with a small thickness. To keep the button rounded, we'll set the border radius to its maximum value. Now, we'll duplicate this button twice. Since these will be icon-only buttons, we'll change the control to icon button, remove the text values, and update the icons to match their purpose. And this is our final result. We've built a clean, modern profile card using FLET's layout system. If you want more frequent and higher quality videos, subscribe and leave a comment. Right now, 90% of viewers aren't subscribed. Your support means a lot.